Alan, not the start that you wanted in your return? No, definitely not. Uh, it's a really poor result, to be honest. Uh, first half, I don't think there was much between the two teams. We probably have a great opportunity just before the score that we've, we've got to score. It's as simple as that. Um, and then we lose a really bad goal. Um, it's a cross into the box again. We've got to stop crosses better. Uh, the same for the second goal as well. Cross comes in far too easy. And we don't, we obviously we don't deal with it. We've obviously been watching them more than you have this season, but that kind of sums up Queen's season. Missed chances, you know, not taking the chances when they have them and not defending the crosses. I know, and then obviously we get ourselves back in the game. Uh, second half, I thought, started the game really well. We started passing the ball better. John Corner made a massive difference. He scores a great goal. And you're thinking, right, we're going to go in this and go and score a couple of goals. Um, and then they lose a goal within a minute or two minutes, which is it's unacceptable, it's not good enough. Got it all to do on Saturday now. Home advantage, though? It is. No, that's that's probably the positive, and that's what we said in there. We're still in the tie. <clears throat> There's still a long way to go. But there's got to be a reaction. You've got to show what it means to play for the club. Um, and everybody's obviously still playing for contracts as well, so it's, it's a massive game for everyone. Did nerves play a part tonight? Do I you think, think you can see that, especially first half. They look really nervy. Um, and it is, it's, it's nervous situations playing in games like this, but you've got to be big enough to handle that. They're all good players, and you've got to go and show that and go and produce a, a quality performance. You need a performance now on Saturdays. Is it a case of just putting everything in front that's happened up until now in the past and go for this one game? Well, definitely, that's what it is. Obviously, we need to go and score goals. We need to go and win the tie. <coughs> uh, obviously, we've made it difficult for ourselves tonight with uh, losing that second goal. But we showed second half that we're more than capable of going and scoring a couple of goals. No Stephen Doby tonight. Was that just a case of didn't get over his hamstring stuff Saturday too much and then keeping him maybe for Saturday? Yeah, it was too much a risk. Um, but it should be available for Saturday so uh, we're looking forward to getting that little bit of quality because that's what he brings to the team and hopefully can add some goals as well. The pressure is obviously all on Queens now. Montrose have that upper hand but Queens are the team that are expected to win. It's, if only it was easy as that, it's, it's difficult games, you can see they were fighting for everything, there was some, a lot of challenges going in, <clears throat> it'll be more of the same on Saturday again, uh, but you've got to be able to deal with the, the challenges and the physical side of the game and still be able to handle that and pass the ball as well. And we're looking for a lot more for our, our forward players, whether it's wide players as well, you've got to be more creative, you've got to go and dominate the guy you're playing against, go and take them on, go and have shots, crosses, through passes and go and create more chances. What will be your message be to them ahead of that game on Saturday night? Positive. Um, go and don't be scared to make mistakes because it looked a bit nervy at times. Um, I know that sometimes when you're chasing games it does become a bit nervy and obviously they know how big a, a game it is as well but you've got to be able to handle that. They're, they're big enough to do that. Just turning to yourself now. It was a quick turnaround Saturday, Gary leaving and then yourself coming in. So not really had a lot of time to, to work with the players. No, we've only had one training session, so it was uh, it was a quick turnaround. Um, but there's more than enough in that dressing room to, to go and put in a performance and get the result. And that's what we need to do. That's what we need to focus on. As you say, this game's gone. <clears throat> it's frustrating when you, you work so hard to get back in it and you lose that goal. Um, and we've got to learn for that quickly. Delighted to be back though? No, it is. It's a good club. Um, I had to, obviously, when I spoke to the chairman, um, when he said he was interested in me coming back, I was delighted and it was a no-brainer to come back. And obviously you're here, a two-year contract, you want to keep Queen's in that championship? Of course. It's too big a club to go down. Um, but if you look at Falkirk, they're a massive club as well, so uh, that means nothing. A lot of work to do though? A lot of work to do. Um, and it's <laughs> it's obviously it's difficult games, um, but we need the support to get right behind the players, and so they obviously urge them on and try and get that performance we all need. It's not an easy time to be coming back to the club, but you up for that challenge? Of course, that's why we came. Um, it's a good club. I enjoyed my time here before. Uh, it's, it is a challenge, and it's one that I'm up for.